Hello, this is Hui. Welcome to watch my video C++ Programming on Linux. In this short video, we are going to discuss JSON stream parts using Boost C++ libraries. The JSON C++ library is a new library which introduced in the Boost release version number 1.75.0. So this library provides parsing and the serialization algorithm to transform JSON to and from the value container as needed. So the parsing is the process where the serialization JSON is validate and decomposed into element. So this lib new library includes the following functions, basic parser, Parse options, parse parser, stream parser, and the value stack. So in this short video, we're going to demonstrate the stream parser and the parse options. Here on the Linux, I just created a simple program, JSON underscore valid dot cpp. The usage will be JSON underscore valid and the file name. We're going to use a stream parser. Stream parser is a DOM parser for the JSON contained in multiple buffers. So the stream and buffer implement stream algorithm. It allows incremental processing of a large JSON input. So the program we are going to very simple and we create a function called a JSON stream parse and return true or false. If the true we just print out as the validation success. If the false, we print a validation is not success. So here is our function JSON stream parse and take one parameter is the file name. We create a line and the string and then integer is the line number and the return code. Code is a true default. And we instantialize the error code object, JSON error code. We name EC and we instantialize the instance, my parser, JSON stream parse. So after we instantialize, open the file and my file and it's IF stream. If this file is open and we start with line number is zero, we use a std get line to read from file into the string of line make a loop so each loop line number plus plus and the using the method is my parser dot write this line and the error code so here is the way what's the my parser writer so this is a stream p and when it goes into p write we can write a partial in the first part or second part until end we finish so in our example so we read JSON file line by line. Each time we just write a line. If error code is not a noun, it means we got an error with this line. So we just print out and the line number and the error message. After that, we line clear, read from the file line. We make a loop till finish. We close the file. If there's no error and after finish, we have to do the my parser dot finish. So my parser dot finish indicate the end of a JSON input. And we finish. If no error, we just print out the error. We just return the RC. No fails. RC is true. Now we save this. We go to other terminal. We compile JSON underscore valid. Okay, so because this is a new JSON library, we, in our make file, we have to include boost underscore JSON is the library. Here is our making file. So we have to add this library and the boost basic library system and the C++ 11. Now we got a compiled. So this is the program. We have our JSON file. So here is our JSON file. We have player list, we have a player one, player two, player three. So, so you can see this validation is a success. So for sometimes if we add a note, which is C, C++ like a note, and we save this JSON file, let's run this again. So you can see they got a syntax error in line 11. So here, 
and the line 11, we have some node. This is stream JSON parser can take option, allow these command lines. So back to our JSON stream parser, we can add an option, declare the option, name the my option, my option dot allow command. This permit C, C++ style command to appear at white space. We said it's true. So our parser have to be instantialized with our options. In this case, we just save our program. We recompile. Now we got compiled. We run our thread. You can see now we parser and validate success, which our JSON file, we add this uh, command. We can set up option and we can allow this. And now we got a parsing success. So after su we parsing success, we can print out if rc, it means uh, we can just uh, use my parse release to stream out. Here, parse release, which return the parsed value ownership of this value will be transferred to the caller. So if we parse success, we can use the parse release to get the value we parsed and we can print out. So now let's save this. We recompile. Now we got a compiled. We run our JSON file, redirect to the JSON. So now this say we parse success. Let's check our JSON file. This is uh, our JSON file. Because uh, we just uh, simply send to the ST out all the parse JSON string in the one lines. If we want to print as a pretty print, so we create a function called a pretty print. They take one value, which is a JSON value, which is after release return. This uh, function parse JSON value using the JSON kind. JSON kind can check the each node, if this node is object, we start from the curling bracket. And then we have value to send to the print append. Then we make a loop from the beginning of end of the object. We just print the object key, colon, and object value. If there's a, this value still object, we call back this function again, print a value, recurse this. If the we meet a JSON array, so we can print it from square bracket, and then we put the begin to the end, make a loop, just print all the value of this JSON array, and also this node is a string, we just print a string. If UTF-64 using this JSON value, get UTF-64. So here is the JSON kind function, we can return the enumerate new norm int64 and sign int64 double string array object. So based on the value, we can make in print. So now we call this function, we still use my parser release. Let's save this, recompile, and now we run our program again, JSON, JSON file. Redirect. Let's look at our. You can see now we got a pretty print. First we find, and our comment is gone. Hello, this is Hui. Thanks to watch my video. Hopeful this is useful, enjoyable. It's going to be great to have your feedback.